Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 27th April 2023, two major approval in principle was given by Ministry of Defense. The first one is for Future Ready Combat Vehicle Armored Fighting Vehicle FRCV AFV and second one is for 1200 to 1500 horsepower engine with associated automated peripherals or power pack. The Indian Army's quest for the procurement of future ready combat vehicle FRCV began with an RFI in June 2021, which has now been accorded approval in principle to be progressed under Make One category with a minimum of 50% indigenous content. The FRCV would be in service for next 35 to 45 years and therefore should be designed to deliver the highest lethality, survivability, and agility in the battlefield combined with a fully digitized data backbone architecture to enable the next generation operational capabilities and automation. The Ministry of Defense intends to procure 590 FRCV in the first phase. The MOD has also outlined detailed specification that is expected in India's next generation main battle tank which we will be discussing in today's video in detail. The FRCV will be manned by crew of 4 and will have combat weight of 55 ton plus 5%. Its main gun should be minimum 120 caliber capable of firing various types of ammunition and engagement of targets in static and dynamic mode by day and night. The main gun should be able to fire AP, FSTS, heat and HE rounds to minimum distance of 2500 meters, 1600 meter and 5000 meter respectively. It should be able to fire anti-tank and anti-helicopter missiles from 500 meter to 5000 meter. The main gun and turret should be 360 degree traversable. Its secondary armament will have 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun and 12.7 mm anti-aircraft machine gun. The ammunition should be auto-loaded with minimum 16 rounds ready for auto-loading along with provision for semi-automatic and manual loading. All ammunition should be stored in easily accessible containerized compartment which is a bustle loader with suitable safety measures like blow-off panels. The FRCV should employ lottery munitions in conjunction with surveillance drones compatible with in-service surveillance drones with suitable human interface as a system from the platform. The MOD has outlined the requirement for fire control system to be connected with all weapons and targeting size. It should be fully digital and seamlessly engaged target. It should have capability to incorporate artificial intelligence decision support and features such as hunter killer mode, killer killer mode, automatic target detection and tracking system, battlefield management system, identification of friend and foe. The hunter killer mode refers to multiple target tracker with capability for tank commander to search and queue up targets for the auto designation to the gunner. In killer killer mode, the tank commander and combat operator should have the capability to engage targets in addition to the gunner with a main gun and also with secondary weapons and not munition in case gunner is engaged in operating the main gun. Now when we talk about the next generation main battle tank, the very first question is asked is on Active Protection System or APS. The FRCV will have 360 degree protection with a dedicated top attack protection system. It will have soft kill system for detection and disruption against the hostile elements, laser designation, ranging, missile launch, missile homing, etc. It will also have hard kill system to destroy or deflect the incoming projectiles. Now talking about the passive protection, it is expected to have a protection equivalent of minimum 800mm RHA in frontal 60 degree arc and minimum 600mm equivalent RHA with suitable lightweight solution for all round protection. The protection at the belly of tank will be able to survive the IED and mine blasts of minimum 15 kilograms of TNT. It will have protection against top attack munitions equivalent to the protection with minimum 600mm RHA. It should also be capable of incorporating modular armor including 
ERA that is explosive reactive armor or non explosive reactive armor any ERA which could be scalable it should also be resistant to cyber warfare with capability to operate in a contested electromagnetic spectrum with intense electronic warfare environment the main battle tank is expected to be powered by an indigenous power pack as ministry of defense has also given the AIP for 1200 to 1500 horsepower engine with associated automatic peripherals that is power pack the FRCV is expected to have minimum 1500 horsepower engine with a minimum life of 750 engine hours without overhaul it will have the power to weight ratio of not less than 27 is to 1 horsepower per ton it will have the operational range of not less than 400 kilometers in cross country or desert terrain and 500 kilometers on road this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector